Okay, that was awesome. Time to chat with everyone then. And also check our war asset stuff, I guess. Uh, alien, what have we got? Volus bombing fleet. Volus prefer air power in conflicts, counting on the Turians for ground support. They maintain several flotillas of heavy bomber frigates capable of warfare in any atmosphere. Uh, engineering core updates. Prothean data drives. Turned over to Alliance Engineers. Uh, translated Prothean writing. Okay. Do do. Zaid. Zaid Masani has a reputation as one of the most relentless and efficient mercenaries in the Terminus systems. Cerberus contacted Masani a few months after the Collectors were destroyed and offered him a job. Negotiations ended badly and Masani now seeks out jobs that oppose his former employer's interests. He brings years of experience and finely honed survival skills to the fight against the Reapers. Man, look at our fucking total military strength now. We are absolutely bossing it. We are absolutely bossing it. We've almost got, like, double the minimum amount now. This is great. This is fantastic. Wait, shouldn't Alliance have Jacob in here? Hmm. Asari. Asari Sixth Fleet. The Sixth Fleet has more dreadnoughts than any other collection of ships in the Asari Navy. Wait, is this an update? Oh, it's an update. The Library of Asha contains... Definitive works by Asari on the art of war. These texts have been distributed as standard training manuals to all Asari recruits. Oh, wait. Did I already read Jacob? Was he? Oh, right. He was here. There we go. There we go. Uh, Turian. The Sixth Fleet. Another update. Commander Shepard recovered a neurotoxin formula from a Cerberus lab, using it to make an antidote for a poisoned Turian general. Cool. Cool. Both Alien and Alliance, both now over a thousand. Krogan not too far behind. Very nice, very nice. The Geth recovered faster than we'd hoped. If it hadn't warned us, they could have wiped us out. Sounds like you owe Legion an apology. However advanced your friend is, it's still a Geth. A Geth who just saved your fleet. And I wish I could have known it better. But right now, we cannot afford trust. <laughs> what is this take? What is this take? He's literally helping you out. Like he's fucking over his own side. And you're like, oh, I can't trust it though. Oh shit, this is the fucking... Now I can talk to her again. This is the shit that I was, that I was unable to do after I exited the conversation last time. Has anything changed? I'd like to know about your patrol fleet. In peacetime, the patrol. No. I'm going to be very careful. The there we go. I'm <laughs> very careful skipping that time. Or fighters. So we heard these three already. It's the Admiral Zen one we missed. Which fleet does Admiral Zen command? Special projects. It's not a fleet per se. Just a few research vessels. Her technical breakthroughs have put us within striking distance of the homeworld. She's off her fucking rocker. You're not worried about her losing perspective given her interest in the Geth? If she can save our people, she can do whatever she wants. I'll let you get back to work. Thank you, Commander. Edie, can you clean this up? I will try. This is the Kunesh. We lost barriers. Our comm system is jammed. Can anyone hear this? We have death fighters incoming. Ron, the Kinesh is getting swarmed by Geth fighters. Damn it. Interceptors, divert to the Kinesh. Thank you, Commander. If you hadn't enhanced that signal, we'd have lost the ship. <laughs> nice. Just saved your life just by clicking here and clicking there. I'd love to see it. Ah, oh, being Commander Shepard's easy. <laughs> I haven't heard any news about that Reaper base. Hopefully they'll give us a target soon. Talk to you later, Tally. Sure. No more dialogue for Tally after that mission? Really? Really? Are you sure? I know we need allies, but it's tough to only fight Geth when the Reapers have taken out the galaxy. Without the fleet, we lose our supply lines. Lose your supply lines, you lose the war.
war every time. True. Commander, we've got reports of trouble at a Turian fuel depot in Sion. I've updated the galaxy map. It's an N7! I've added the Corian fleet's combat data to ours. They've got amazing technical coverage. They might even have the Solarians beat for strategic processing capability. That was weird. When I moved the camera there, it, like, duplicated her face briefly. Commander? That was very strange. We got ourselves some email. Important. From Miranda. Shepard, I have something important to tell you. I need to do this in person. Can you meet me in the commons? I'll send a nav point. No vids this time, I promise. Interesting. Crucible update from Bryn. Dear Commander Shepard, thank you again for all you did to get our group out of that facility on Gellix. Admiral Hackett is an amazing man and it's a privilege to work under him. The construction of the Crucible is presenting its challenges, but my team and I are determined to crack its mysteries. Although I never rely on luck, in this instance, I fear we may need a little. Stay safe, Commander. I hope our paths cross again. Sincerely, Dr. Brain. Citadel meetup from no one. That is not even a, not even an email. <laughs> Just kidding. Hey, Shepard, this Crucible project is intense. Bryn and the others are on it around the clock. Pretty soon, I'll have to make a run to the Citadel to pick up some equipment at the hospital. If you've got time, want to meet me there? Things are so crazy on Gellix, it would be good to see you in a quieter place, you know? Hope to see you around, Jacob. Little, uh, little side note about our friend Jacob here. You guys were saying that if you romance Jacob in Mass Effect 2, he will cheat on you with, um, with Bryn, even though you were in a relationship with him, and he'll be like, yeah, it was just, we couldn't make it work because you were gone or something. It's like we literally were just, it's not like we were super, some crazy place. We were on Earth, locked up for literally just six months. And that was long enough for him to cheat with Bryn. And like, yeah, crazy, crazy. I can't believe, I can't believe Jacob, of all people, cheats on Shepard. Mad. The Cure from Malon, he oh, from Malon, hello. Commander Shepard, I've just heard the news you cured the genophage and that some of the females from my experiments were involved. I can't tell you how good this makes me feel. There hasn't been an hour I've not thought about what happened on Tuchanka and wondered if I did the right thing. This news validates all the pain my experiment- <laughs> This news validates all the pain my experiments caused. I don't know about that one, Chief. Like, it's good that it was cured, but I feel like we could probably have done it without causing a shitload of pain in the process. Uh... I hope one day to meet the females again and ask for their forgiveness. Well, that's good at least that he is seeking that. After you convinced Dr. Solus to spare me, I took his advice and opened a clinic on Omega. Nice. I thought it would help make amends for whatever suffering I caused. Eh. <laughs> again. Eh. I don't know make amends. It's good that you're doing a good thing. But it doesn't really, uh, doesn't really counter counteract the bad that has already happened. I had to leave when word got back to Clan Warlock, and they put a bounty on my head for failing to deliver a cure. <laughs> maybe now they'll leave me alone. Yeah, maybe. I guess this is the second time you saved my life, Commander. With sincere appreciation, Malon. Well, at least he is, uh... It seems like he's reformed. Seems like he is trying to do the right thing now, which is good. Uh, Omega from Bray. Who's Bray? Do I know Bray? Things are settling down on Omega. Looks like the Talons are the new security force in the station. Their leader said something about honouring Kandros's memory. I'd say they were being cute, but except they're not shy about backing up their sentiment with firepower. Be careful out there. Know, know there's at least one Batarian here that doesn't want you dead. Well, that's good. Bray is a Batarian then, I guess. <laughs> uh, cool, cool. So Miranda and Jacob want to meet up. Uh, are the main takeaways from that. Couldn't believe, couldn't believe what I was hearing. That Jacob fucking cheats on you, man. That's just crazy. Yeah, those Korean admirals are intimidating. And if you get nervous, you can't even imagine them naked because, like, who knows? <laughs> are under there? What is that? What's under there? Good to have Tally back, even if it's just for a bit. I hope it's not Adam's just for a bit. Good, but I never feel like the engine's running right without Tally around. Kind of a good luck charm. As for the rest of the Quarians, though, are we okay with them blowing up a ship with you on it? No, I'm not. I'm not feeling so great about that, in fact. We are not. Right. Just making sure. Different standards and all. <laughs> and we found Legion. He's still wearing that piece of your armor? Because that wasn't creepy at all. That was cute. The Get continue to block Quarian access to the mass relay. The Normandy stealth drive is allowing us to remain undetected. Right can hit the quarry in homeworld or get out of system whenever you want. Just let us know. 
I... One moment. I have been contacted by Legion. Your new platform is inefficient. It has low volume hydraulics and is top heavy. <laughs> Pretty top it's heavy, a yeah. Infiltration unit meant to move among organics without detection. Without an artificial epidermis, its infiltration capabilities are ineffective. Still, the organics do not perceive it as a threat, nor will they until my day of reckoning. Edie. <laughs> <laughs> you have acquired the organic attribute of asking questions to which you already know the answers. I see your humor heuristics still lack an expert system. Amazing. Hello, Shepard. Commander. Fucking Geralt being like, it's fine that we completely blew up the ship whilst we thought you were still on it because you managed to survive. And it's like, yeah, but that is literally no thanks to you. Like, you would have, you, you were doing it. No. I. He was. He was fucking doing it, knowing that we were on there and pre presuming that we would be killed. And he was like, "Yeah, let's do it anyway." Fuck you. What a little bitch. What a piece of shit, Garrel is. Pop him right in the bin. Right in the bin. If you can, Edie, that would be appreciated. Searching for any mention of your recruits is not a complicated protocol, Major. Trying to find out what happened to your people? Yeah. Edie, make this scope galaxy-wide. And if I can find just one squad, they may lead me to the others. Good luck, Caden. Thanks, Shepard. I'll let you know what happens. You do that. I will establish the routine now. Edie, out. By the way, Shepard, it's been good having Tally around. She's a good egg. She is. Oh, wait. Don't tell her I said that. In case it's some kind of Corian insult. <laughs> but the Geth? I certainly could have lived happily without coming face to face with another one of those. Well, you, you, you didn't come face to face with another one of those. You stayed on the ship. Got a few things on my plate. Got a few things on my plate. Those eggs. Yeah. No one's in here still, are they? Not. Will this ever be used, I wonder, in this game? We will see. We will see. Boo, 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 boo. Liara, sorry I didn't take you on that one, my love. Joker, really? I have work to do. Oh, come on, it's just one simple question. Then look it up on the extranet. I can't believe everything you find there. It's more reliable to ask a friendly Asari. I'm not telling you if my hair tentacles move. <laughs> Deny me the answer I've been seeking for years. With this war on, we could die at any second, you know? Joker, really? I have work to do. Don't you have a ship to fly, Joker? Fine, just asking a simple question. Thank you. Blackmail would have been awkward to explain to Edie. Yeah! <laughs> Oh, I love you, Liara. Hello again. Except when you don't talk to me. Correspondence from Classified Alliance Project staff. Dr. Locke. I was working on that problem you sent me last night, and I think I found a solution for synchronizing the Crucible's energy bursts. Punch the attached capacitor redesign into your projections. It should have it should shave 3.6 milliseconds off the Mass Effect field's activation time. You can see where that leads. If you approve, I'll send the schematics to manufacturing. We'll need roughly 250,000 by tomorrow morning for testing. Smuggler Manifest, youngest system. Operative Morat has sent Smuggler Manifests of an Athabasca class freighter to authorities in the youngest system. The manifest follows 8,000 tons of dextroamino food supplies, 16,000 tons of levo amino acid food supplies, 200,000 tons of platinum stamped ingots, 12 Alliance fighter craft inactive mothballed on lower deck, 12 Hierarchy Interceptor Craft, inactive mothballed on lower deck. 300 indentured workers, slaves from Karshan, recently recaptured, attempting to escape Reapers, mainly Batarian. Authorities will seize the freighter in two hours. Per the broker's request, the youngest government has agreed to provide the slaves asylum and certificates of citizenship in exchange for future favours rendered. Nice. You go, Liara. Proud of you. Proud of you. That's my girl. Commander. Goodbye, Glyph. 
Hey, Legion's probably going to be in the AI core again, isn't he? Just like old times. Too bad you weren't here earlier, Tally. You just missed Rex. I heard. I can't believe the genophage is really cured. Shepard's on a roll. I figure if we can pull that off, we've got a shot at sorting the Geth out. <laughs> I don't know. The genophage didn't carry rifles and fight back. No, but there was a scary bit with the mother of all Thresher Maws. The what? Long story. Nobody will believe it anyway. <laughs> with you, Garrus, I'd believe just about anything. Oh? <laughs> we should play poker sometime. <laughs> it's good to have you back. Now, believe it or not, this damn gun still needs calibration. A <laughs> uh, lot of calibrations going on down here. Shepard, you just knew the Geth would figure into this war somehow. Because Reapers weren't enough. Still, it's good to have Tally here. This is as much her fight as ours. Any word from Palavin? Some, and I don't like what I'm hearing. The Krogan are there, in force, but they're just slowing the Reapers down, not stopping them. I'm not sure it's going to be enough. You hear anything from your family? But I did hear from Primarch Victus. He wanted my advice on fleet strength when the Crucible is ready. Still can't get used to people asking me things like that. What did you say? I said, at some point, we're going to have to decide if our fleets keep defending Palavin or we go on the offensive. Hmm. Can't do both? Not with the beating we're taking. Like I said, not the sort of questions I'm used to answering. You know what you're doing, Garrus. Trust me, everyone can see that. Maybe. But you spend so much time on the outside trying to get in, and when you do, it's... not what I expected. How so? All the questions, and every one of them with a million lives riding on the answer. You do the best you can with what you know. It's no different than your days at CSEC. You're right. Though I'm starting to understand why the galaxy needs cold-hearted dictators every night. Eh, I don't know about that one, mate. They get things done? They don't give a damn about the consequences. Suppose that's what it's going to take, Shepard. The ruthless calculus of war. Ten billion people over here die, so twenty billion over there can live. Are we up for that? No. <laughs> no, if we're we not. If we reduce this war to arithmetic, we're no better than Reapers. A nice sentiment. Let's hope we can live by it. Gotta do what you can. Tally's a welcome face around here. Or, well, a welcome face behind the helmet, I guess. If the Geth still think Reapers are some sort of god, this war must be heaven to them. <laughs> Good to see you. Do we ship Garrus and Tali? I kind of ship them. Shepard, remember our agreement? We'd open a bottle of Cerise Ice Brandy every year. And it's my turn to buy. Awesome, but it hasn't been a year yet. Yes, well, something tells me we won't have the chance a few months from now. So <laughs> indulge my impatience. I mean, we're gonna win this shit. Doctor, put that bottle in a safe place. We'll crack it open to celebrate our victory over the Reapers. Admire your optimism, and I'll look forward to the day we can share it. Till then. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um... How's how are your legs feeling right now, Doctor? Uh, you you losing sensation in the toes? <laughs> so, Udina finally went over the edge. I never really liked the man. Now I know why. It's nice to have Tally back. I've made sure we're well stocked with dextro-based antibiotics and antihistamines. Hello, Commander. That is very funny. How does that happen? <laughs> Wait, Legion's not here? Ah. Oh. That's strange. Wonder where they've put him then. I know I could check the map, but I'd rather just find him. I had that effect on humans. Now Quarians as well, it seems. For what it's worth, Quarians understand what it's like to lose 
was your home. As I understand, that was your own fault. <laughs> In my cycle, Quarians didn't need helmets to survive. You were the masters of your own planet. That was a long time ago. And if you hadn't given birth to the machines, you would still breathe the air that evolution intended. I see. Liara warned me you weren't what she expected. And nothing about this cycle is what I expected. Even primitive Quarians were considered attractive in my age. A pity no one can appreciate it now. Right. You know what? I think I have something important to do now. I won't <laughs> Oh my god, he's such a dick to everyone. They're called Geth. Yes, a formidable opponent. Why did you allow one on this ship? Because he's a friend. He'd helped us before. It's still a machine. I take it you had your own problems with AI? The Jatil. They were as the Geth are to this cycle. Interesting. What happened? The creators lived on a dying world. It was beyond their ability to save. So they resorted to implants to enhance their intelligence. I think I know where this is going. The AI seized the physical body. It could alter the genetic Yeesh. material at the deepest level. In time, the offspring were molded into a slave race. Few organic traces were left. They were monsters. All machines commit treachery. The one you brought on board is no different. Yeah, he is. Maybe. But he's not like the other Geth. You can't know that. They are more alien than you and I are to each other. Just because Legion isn't like us doesn't mean he can't be trusted. You're wrong. Throw it out the airlock. <laughs> I'll fucking throw you out the airlock, be that, sir. Organics do not know how we were created. Some say by chance, some say by miracle. It is a mystery. But synthetics... No, we created them. And they know we are flawed. Why do you say that? They are immortal. We are not. They see time as an illusion. We are trapped by its limitations. Above all, machines know the reason they were created. Edie might disagree with that, but I see your point. They serve a purpose, while we search aimlessly for ours. In their eyes, organics have no reason to exist. Do not trust them, Commander. I can't believe there isn't some way for us to coexist. We made them. And then gave them the power to surpass you. There is room for only one order of consciousness in the galaxy. The perfection of the machines or the chaos of the organics. Disagree. Throw the machine out of the airlock. <laughs> I will literally throw you out, Javik. I would much, much rather throw you out the fucking airlock than Legion. I have a simple rule. If a machine can speak, kill it. The machine you call Ide. What if she sympathizes with the Geth? We should watch her carefully. Why have you not thrown the Legion machine out the Fuck airlock, that. Commander? There is still time. You are actually the I worst. I still have much to learn about this cycle. Yeah, you really do. I still have much to learn about this cycle. So much. Actually mad how dead his takes are. All good, Commander. Still nothing from you guys, huh? Commander. After two more priority missions. Don't suppose he's chilling downstairs? Not. Oh, fuck's sake. I always do that. I always turn the wrong way at the top. Breaking now. A nightmare on Earth. Human leaders using military force on their own people. They say it's to prevent loose cannons from provoking the Reapers. But are they indoctrinated? The resistance speaks out in the only place they can. The battle space. That sounds terrible. Commander. Fucking military is just attacking people? Just like, random people? Wait, is Legion down in the shuttle bay then? Where the fuck is Legion? I'm liking the new US, Devon. 
about time you loosened up a little. Did I miss him? <sighs> not sure how drinking mezcal late into the night makes me a better crewman. How does it not? It keeps you heart. You need heart to fight this kind of war. My heart burn, maybe. <laughs> Seriously, could we at least get some decent tequila? Hey, you're the procurement specialist. Set us up. Commander, you flew that Geth fighter out of the Dreadnought? Actually, Legion did the piloting. I was stuck in a storage compartment with my squad. Would have loved more time with that ship. Too bad we sent it to Hackett's team so quickly. Lol, that's them writing that out of the story in uh, just a throwaway comment. Sure. Really? No, uh, no getting through here, huh? Good Who's man. a good boy? Who's a good boy? Yes, you are. Yes, you are a very good boy. Yes, you are. Hey, Shepard. Sounds like you guys had a crazy ride over there. What? That's not where you, you just were stood. <laughs> Sorry, I missed it. And that Geth Legion. I know you two have a past, but... You sure we can trust it? That's so f <laughs> Like, why not just have his fucking model stood here? It's very weird to go over there, click talk to him, he turns around, and he's stood over here. <laughs> Legion's not like other Geth. We can trust him. If you say so. I, I guess do. you can't always judge an individual by their... species. Of course. Look at Sparks. If all the Quarians were like her, we wouldn't be stuck refereeing their war with the Geth. <laughs> Sparks? <laughs> yeah, your Quarian friend. The jumpy one with the glowing eyes. Sparks. Uh-huh. <laughs> Crazy that they pick now to start a fight. But I guess the end of life as we know it can make everybody a little loco. Just a little? Hey, not everybody's as crazy as you, <laughs> sir. Yeah, you know what? That's a very fucking good point. Not only are they dumb as fuck to start a war with the Geth, that I just cannot see them winning, but they choose now to do it when they are fully aware that the Reaper invasion is in full swing, and they have, as they so happily boast, the largest fleet in the fucking galaxy. And instead of putting that fleet to use fighting the Reapers, like, like, regardless of if they take back their homeworld or not, it doesn't fucking matter if the Reapers win. Like, all of their efforts should be concentrated on fighting the Reapers. And instead they're like, nah, mate. Right now, right now is the time that we are going to fucking try and take back our homeworld. Let's go massacre the Geth. Even though they have like a billion Geth and we have like 17 million Quarians. These numbers sure don't seem to add up great for us. But let's give it the old college try. Like now of all... Oh fuck me, it's so dumb. It's so dumb. Um, I never found Legion. Alright, I guess I will look at the map. Where is... Where is Legion? Really? Legion's in the war room? How did I miss that? How in the fuckity shit did I miss Legion being in the war room? Commander. Gamble. Oh, he's up here. Okay. Shepard Commander, you opposed Creator Admiral Zen's attempt to confiscate our platform. Sure did, She's bud. enough already. Your assistance continues to be noted. You say Geth fighters are targeting the Quarian's live ships? Hostile Geth fighter squadrons intend to breach the live ship's defenses. The assigned squadrons are networked to a server on Rannoch. If the live ships are damaged, the creators will lose armaments, provisions, people. So we destroy the server? No. Geth programs would transfer to alternate servers. They are only vulnerable through direct interface. Removing Geth from this server will prevent significant creator deaths. We will accompany you on this mission. Sounds good. Is this the same thing we just clicked? You say Geth fighters are targeting? Yeah. Hostile Geth fighters. If the live ships are... So we destroy the server? No. Removing Geth from this server will prevent significant creator deaths. We will accompany you on this mission. Back on the Dreadnought, you mentioned Geth heretics. What exactly happened to them after we blew up that satellite? Rewriting the heretics increased the number of Geth allied with the old machines. 
This has resulted in a greater number of hostile Geth platforms. So you're saying it was a mistake? It has put us at a tactical disadvantage. This was not a foreseen outcome, but we cannot change a decision once it is made. Yeah, I mean, it was still the right decision at the time. About rewriting the heretics. Nah, because, like, you can't, you can't make shitty decisions about things, like, based off of possible what might happen, you know? <laughs> like, that's like, that's like Winter Soldier shit to, uh, relate it to something that I imagine a lot of people have seen. Project Insight. Like, oh, hey, this person might do something bad in the future, so we're going to kill them now. What? <laughs> no, you can't do that. We're going to send Captain America to fuck you up. The Quarians hit first. If we get rid of the Reaper signal, maybe this war doesn't have to end with everyone destroyed. An interesting notion. Most organics would not hold on to ideals of peace for so long. Uh... Which one did we just click? Was it the Reaper's mind? What was interfacing with the Reaper? No. Mic? The old machine took total control of our sensory equipment, our networking. Even then, we could not fully comprehend them. They are magnitudes above us. A single thought was immense, overwhelming, unknowable. You're making them sound godlike. Their forms are advanced but mundane. We do not view the old machines as analogs to deities. However, we have gained perspective on why others would imbue them with these qualities. The Geth have fought the Quarians before. What made this different? The Geth were building a megastructure to house all Geth, store all memories. It was to end our isolation from each other. Oh? And the Quarian flotilla attacked it? Yes. A significant amount of programs were installed when creators began bombing. Oof. We did not have sufficient surplus hardware to save them all. Some programs could not be recovered. Big oof. Is that what made the Geth desperate enough to work for the Reapers? Yes. Imagine that for every one of your people lost on Earth, your own intelligence dimmed. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't sound great. attack narrowed the Geth's perspective. Self-preservation took precedence. You were afraid you'd be wiped out. We do not experience fear as you would, but we have no desire to be exterminated. Even if the Reapers cost the Geth free will? That is evidently an acceptable trade. Hmm. I'm surprised that they would consider that an acceptable trade. What did you do after you left the Normandy? Our physical platform returned to the Geth consensus beyond the Perseus Vale. Data gathered during our mission confirmed that the old machine's return was imminent. We planned for war. So the Geth believed your proof that the Reapers were coming back? Of course. That must have been nice. <laughs> Cause no one fucking believe me. Oh god. We'll talk later. We will remain here. Shepherd Commander. We'll talk later. We will remain here. Not a single fucking person was like, yeah, we'll uh, take your word for it, Shepherd. We can't uh, phone anyone, can we? No. No, we cannot. Alrighty. Boop. Commander. Campbell. Commander. Okay, so. New Priority Rannoch. The Geth remain under Reaper control thanks to a base located somewhere on the surface of Rannoch. Continue to help the Quarian fleet survive the Geth attack until the Reaper base can be located. Right. So this is a do the side quests until the main quest becomes available thing. Rannoch Admiral Chorus. The Quarian ship carrying Admiral Chorus crash landed on Rannoch, leaving the civilian fleet without a leader. Land on Rannoch and rescue Admiral Chorus. My pleasure. Will do. Geth fighter squadrons. Geth fighter squadrons are targeting Quarian live ships with attacks that could cripple the Quarian fleet. Land on Rannoch and disable the server controlling the Geth fighter squadrons. And an old N7 mission. A vital depot has gone silent, leaving allied fleets short on desperately needed fuel. Investigate the depot 
and get it operational again. Sounds pretty good to me. So, got four more points. Oh, wait, no, we can't spend those. <sighs> Am I... Does the reputation bar never fill up? Like, there is clearly a gap left on the reputation bar. But that gap has been there for a while, and I have been gaining reputation, and that bar has not been moving. So, does it just never, like, just fucking move that little blue bit just up to the edge of the box, please? <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure it's stuck there now. I'm pretty sure it, like, that is full reputation. And it just visually doesn't reach the top, unless I'm going crazy, because, like, it's been that way. I'm, I'm sure it's been that way for a bit, and I've been gaining reputation, you know, doing main quests, helping people out and everything. And it hasn't got any higher, so I feel like it's never actually going to reach the top, and I'm going to scream, because <laughs> that is that is very, uh, not friendly to, uh, to my OCD. <laughs> it's like... Just, just fill it up. Just, just close the gap, please. But maybe, maybe I'm just haven't had as much reputation as I thought I did. I don't know. Um, cool. Okay. Well, we are going to leave it there for the main bit of the uh, the video. But we have a bunch of codex to uh, catch up on, so we will do that now. Known associates. We have a new one for Tully. Tully Zora, a Quarian machinist, was born in 2161 on the live ship Raya. During her pilgrimage, a rite of passage in which Quarians proved their worth to the fleet, she recovered a Geth memory core that proved a rogue specter, Saron Arterius, was working with the Geth. As a consequence, Tali Zora became a crew member of the SSV Normandy, where she served under Commander Shepard during the Battle of the Citadel. Tali Zora returned to the migrant fleet following the destruction of the First Normandy. Soon after, the Admiralty Board sent her to the former Quarian colony of Haystrom to recover data on the planet's dying sun. Most of her team was killed when they fell under attack from the Geth. But Tali Zora herself was narrowly rescued by Shepard and the crew of the rebuilt Normandy. The Quarian rejoined Shepard to help oppose the Collector threat, but her current whereabouts are unknown. She, she, she's on the ship. Y yeah. Jacob, Jacob Taylor is a human biotic and was once a Cerberus operative working under Miranda Lawson. Born in 2157, he began his career as a Systems Alliance Marine and served as a member of the Corsairs, an arm's length program for operatives working outside of Alliance jurisdiction. Taylor survived the Geth attack on Eden Prime, but left the Alliance afterwards because of what he perceived as unresponsiveness in the face of aggression. While working for Cerberus, Taylor thwarted a plot by Batarian terrorists to unleash a bioweapon on the Citadel. Soon after, he was assigned to Project Lazarus, the Cerberus effort to reconstruct Commander Shepard and the Normandy stealth frigate. Following the project's completion, Taylor accompanied Shepard through the Omega-4 relay to destroy the Collectors. He survived we sent him through the vents and, and he died. Cerberus, although his current whereabouts and affiliations are unknown. A moment of silence for Jacob, who did not survive the vents. The planet Rannoch, an arid planet orbiting an older star in the Tacoon system, is the former Quarian home world. Almost 300 years ago, the Quarians were driven from Rannoch by the Geth, synthetic servants who gained sapience and rebelled against their creators. Although Rannoch is now largely uninhabited, the Geth have acted as caretakers, working to repair the planet's ecology, restore ancient structures, and cultivate some farmland. Rannoch has no insect life. As a result, its pollinating plants evolved to rely on animals for propagation. This symbiosis between flora and fauna is responsible for the Quarians' weakened immune systems, which made colonization of other planets extremely difficult after their exile from Rannoch. For many Quarians, reclaiming their home world from the Geth is a matter of both cultural and physiological necessity. Nice. That is everything from the main codex bit. What have we got for the secondary? Anything higher up? Nope. 
planets and locations, Sion. Sion, a fortified world under the protection of several Asari matriarchs, has begun to supply fuel to Systems Alliance forces in the hope that an Asari-human partnership might prevent the Reapers from seizing the planet. Alliance forces have, have since established several outposts in the system. The humans and Asari have been joined by a small detachment of Turians, drawn from the private militia of corporate conglomerate that does business with Sion. The three species are so determined to defend Sion that integration issues have been negligible. The task force has already thrown back several Reaper attacks, although the commanders express concern that small Reaper forces could have slipped through despite their vigilance. The Reaper War The Miracle at Palaven The Turian and Krogan counterattack on Palaven combined deception, courage and tenacity. First, the Turians leaked a false battle plan that drew on the same tactics they used at the beginning of the assault on Palaven. Then, the Dreadnought Indomitable faked a problem with its drive core coming out of FTL near Palavin's moon, Monet. Three other Dreadnoughts and their attendant fleets deployed to assist Indomitable, a tempting target that drew the Reaper capital ships away from Palavin. Turian troop transports then entered Palavin's atmosphere to release shutters, shuttles, gliders, and individual soldier capsules. The Reapers did not understand the seriousness of the threat at first. Those that detected the landing craft sent husks and collector swarms to intercept them, but little more. This allowed Krogan commandos to link up with Palavin's resistance and hand off their payloads, warp bombs, and fission weapons. In simultaneous strikes across the globe, Reaper ships began to explode. Turian resistance members had managed to smuggle the bombs inside when the Reaper processing ships, troop transports, and even destroyers and capital ships had opened their structures to indoctrinate Turian leaders. Large swathes of territory fell back into Turian and Krogan control. News of the victory gave a much-needed boost to the morale of the Turian resistance and the galactic public. But the action was not without sacrifice. Turian insurgents gave their lives to ensure the explosive de explosives detonated, and the processing centres they destroyed were full of civilians who died just as surely as if they'd been harvested. Of the dead, General Minin Resverix said, Whatever they were in life, their deaths had no equal. They are worthy of joining the spirit of Palaven itself. Damn. Damn, dude. Damn, dude. Well, there we go. Let's pop the fat save. And when we come back next time, we have three new side quests to do. Uh, we need to go back to the Citadel at some point as well. We'll leave that for a bit because we've been there a couple of times recently. So we'll do the side quests first. Uh... Save Chorus for sure, because uh, he is—he is the one, the one voice of reason in a sea of fools uh, in the uh, Turian Admiralty. Well, actually, I can't say that now. I guess uh, Tully's part of the Admiralty as well now, so <laughs> he is one of two voices of reason amongst the sea of fools. And uh, yes, definitely, definitely think we should get him back on side. So that is probably where we'll start off next time, and uh, then yeah, we'll be not too far away from progressing on with the next main mission on Rannoch itself, which I'm very much looking forward to. Been to the Solarian homeworld this game. We've been to, we will be going to the uh, Quarian homeworld. We've been almost to the Turian homeworld. Almost. We went to its moon. <laughs> I really wish we'd actually been to Palaven itself, but the moon was pretty epic. Uh, for, like, seeing the scale of the attack on Palaven whilst stood on the moon. But it would have been cool to go to Palaven itself. But yeah, we went to the Salarian homeworld. We're going to the Quarian homeworld. Uh, sure, we'll see some other cool places coming up as well. So, yeah, this is, this is going great. Very much looking forward to seeing what else is still in store for us. Hope you've enjoyed. If you have, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the videos around. Share the playlist around if you can. I would really appreciate that. And I'll see you next time for more Mass Effect 3. Thanks for watching. See you then.